So the football ferns, they are playing a um, bunch of Pacific Island nations and they should win a, a lot of these games, if not all of these games. So I'm most interested in like who, which young players, which emerging like f footballing talents are you going to be watching closely as like this is an opportunity to see them play bigger roles for the football ferns and set up the next kind of World Cup cycle? Well, that's, see, that's one of the things that I thought we would get more of in this squad. And it was a little bit surprised when they picked something close, like taking out all the players who are currently injured or are just coming back from injury, which obviously you're going to do. You're not going to risk them in this sort of situation. Other than that, they kind of just picked the best players available. And I thought there would be a little bit more of a of an eye towards, well, maybe here's an opportunity where we can give a couple of debuts to players thinking of 2027, like the next World Cup. Um, we're at the very start of that cycle. Maybe get a head start to a couple. Didn't, didn't really get that from the squad, but you will still get, like, Ruby Nathan is there yeah, for the there first game. there are still game. young um, players in the squad. Yeah, there are yeah. a couple. Um, most of them are players that... Like the football firms pick young players anyway, so there's a lot of like players who have quite a few caps, or maybe entering like entering out of the young player thing, and maybe need to make a little bit more of a statement. I think Gabby Rennie, Ava Collins, maybe. Um, I think this is a big tour for Daisy Cleverly because they're missing a few. Um, she's not really a young player anymore; she'd be about 27 or something. But that's the point: is she can't be called a young player anymore. You've got to sort of there are different expectations and she's now a professional playing for the best team in, in Denmark and they're missing quite a few midfielders. I think she's going to have quite a big, uh, quite a big influential toy here. So I think that's good for her. Um, yeah. Ruby Nathan will probably play the first game. Ruby Nathan and Liz Anton, both A-League players who have been called up, but only for the first game. And they didn't say anything about that, but my suspicion is that there'll be a few players that are turning up late and maybe won't get there in time for the first because they played on the weekend. For example, Vic Essen played on Monday morning. I don't think she's going to be able to play on Wednesday in Samoa on the other side of the world, right? I think that's maybe a little bit too much to ask. And an elite has a game the next day in the cup, which I would not be surprised if she waits and plays that cup game because she's like, she would have played it if she's not on the, she plays all the cup games for Villa. Wouldn't be surprised if she waits, plays that, and then turns up and maybe just plays the latter stages of this tournament. In which case, there are two debutantes in the squad. One of them is Brianna Edwards, who did make a little bit of an air for the first goal that Newcastle scored against the Phoenix on the weekend, but also later on made the best save I've seen so far this year. Like Just an unreal diving point-blank stop uh, from a close-range header. Incredible stop. And she's looked really good whenever she's played for the Phoenix. And she seems to have now nudged ahead of Erin Naylor as the third-choice uh, goalkeeper. You don't get a lot of opportunities as third-choice goalkeeper. But I suspect she will be playing that first game um, against, uh, against Tonga as the first one. They play Tonga, then they play Samoa, then they play Vanuatu. And I would not be surprised if it's double digits in all of those. Semi-finals, final, it will get a little bit tougher because I think they're going to play sort of Fiji, Papua New Guinea, who are the, the two teams in... Uh, in the Oceania women's realms who probably have the um, they're not going to cause an upset against the football firms but they'll give them the toughest test you know the, those are those are there will be a definite step up in the in the knockouts after the um, after the group stage stuff so I think yeah I think we'll probably see Ruby Nathan playing that first game as well which is an opportunity for her she scored a lot of goals playing in youth grades in Oceania very recently as well, because she's only 18. Um, who else would I would I consider in that? Um, uh, I don't think there are any other teenagers in the squad, but I guess the, the other one you'd point out who's a little bit older but is young in terms of professional experience is Macy Fraser, who if A-League teams continually fall for the shot fake every single time like i pray for the the best of oceania because they're going to have trouble with that and the thing with fraser is we've seen a bit more in the in the a-league more lately is she can create the shot every time she's like a basketballer you know she's a little shot fake and then shoot it's it's um yeah it's some incredible steph curry stuff like that but she does have a tendency of just blasting it straight at the goalkeeper. If she hits the corner, she's going to score a lot of goals, and she's not quite at that stage where she's picking out the um, picking out her spots yet. But I mean, 
shots on target that <laughs> the Oceania stuff will probably go in half the time anyway. So I expect her to be quite influential. And I, I was thinking about that dynamic with, I wrote a bit about it in the, in the email as well, like the dynamic between with Annalie Longo at the, at the Wellington Phoenix, where it kind of seems like Fraser is doing the stuff you might've expected from Longo, where she's more of the instigator creatively and, and getting the team forward and picking passes and carrying the ball and going past defenders. And it does leave Longo in a little bit of an odd spot where she's kind of stuck in between. And I'm not sure they're getting the best out of her quite yet, but also the flip side of that is how incredible Macy Fraser is to be this influential this early in her career and I wouldn't be surprised if she goes on to do similar things for the football firm straight away like immediately steps in and starts looking like um starts looking like the player who's pulling all the strings and this is a nice opportunity for her to really embed herself in that squad as well because expect we'll see a lot more of her playing for the ferns in the future and this is where that starts was obviously called up for the last squad but then got injured so couldn't go so she will be the other debutante alongside her phoenix teammate Brianna Edwards and everyone's going to get game time over this. Five games in 13 days, everyone is playing. You know, Everyone's probably making multiple starts. Kawabunga, that is the niche cast. 